Psyche Truth. Life. Wisdom. Hello, everybody. This is Gregory Gorey with Body Work Masters, and today we're going to be doing some uh, basic back massage. This is going to be uh, kind of a mix of therapeutic and relaxation intent. Um, so one of the places that I like to start is all of these little uh, intrinsic muscles and the attachments that um, attach onto the spine. So I'm right here on the lamina groove. I'm not directly on the bone. I'm just off to the side of it and I'm pressing into the bone, but not uh, I'm, I'm pressing my hands and I'm making contact with uh, the bone, but I'm trying to get the attachments. I'm not actually trying to massage the bone itself. And just coming down. Segment by segment. All the way down onto the sacrum itself. I think this feels really good. You've got uh, different muscles that are attaching onto the sacrum and coming up, and uh, it's nice to have that released. And making my way back up the body. And when you find little cordy ropey spots, you can spend a little extra time. Do you feel, is that, is that tender right there? So she has a little, like if I roll here, has a different feeling than right here. That feels like a rope underneath my fingers, especially that segment. And coming over to the other side. Normally I would stand up and um, face it just like this, but for the camera angle I can just hook my fingers here. And a little tender there too. Move on to the sacrum here. So now that we've got all those little muscles that attach onto the spine, you can come and do an assessment um, to see if there are any uh, imbalances as far as uh, rotations through the spine. So I'm going to stand at her head and with my dominant eye look down the center line and see are any of these areas higher than the other. So coming down dominant eye and I can tell that right through here she has a little rotation so this side is a little bit higher so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over and I'm going to take this tissue and I'm going to 
uh, bring it to the midline and then I'm going to take this tissue and I'm going to pull it away from the midline and try to balance that out a little bit. So I'm coming over. I'm just going to get into the tissue and hook down and see if I can grab onto all of that tissue and then just push it over. From there, I'm just going to hang out for a minute. Come down to the segment just underneath it. So I'm coming, coming at about a, a 45 degree angle. And then when I get onto the bone, I'm going to stay on the bone and I'm going to hook all of this up and over and take the high side and bring it to the midline. High side and bring it to the midline. She's a little ticklish through here. Now we're going to take the low side and we're going to pull it off. So we're going to come over here and we have a visitor. Hello, visitor. So from there, we're taking the low side, same technique, I'm coming down 45 and then I'm just pulling that up and over. Now, in the thoracic spine, uh, <clears throat> the side that's open is the side that's going to rotate out, so we don't know if this side is stuck open or if this side is stuck closed but we can go in this um, both directions so I'm going to take this hand this hand is going to come um, down to close it and this side is going to come up to open that so it's just a little kind of a twist I'm not doing the chiropractic adjustment where I'm doing a high velocity thrust I'm just encouraging the tissue to go where it needs to go. All right, recess, and that is even now. So she, she was, it wasn't real significant, but this right side was higher. Um, after doing that, when I come back down and look, uh, we're level now. So that was a good thing. All right, so let's get a little oil on you. Nice long strokes. Thumbs. Coming up to the, this is the top of the uh, hip. Oftentimes, uh, the this line will be really tender with people. It's a it's a real common area to have be tender. If you've got somebody with low back pain, I can pretty much guarantee that this is going to be tender. Just go inch by inch. Trying to release that. And coming over to the other side. Let me know if any of these are extra hot anywhere. Is 
that tender or ticklish? Ticklish. It's also nice to save your hands to use a little forearm. Um, I don't really like elbows. Elbows tend to be a little uh, too pointy and I've seen lots of massage therapists that will just get on one spot and grind and just ah, doesn't feel good and uh, most of the time the nervous system isn't going to be able to relax and calm down which is what we're trying to do. Even if there is tenderness, we're trying to evoke the tenderness in order for it to pass. But if you're just going and probably not going to unwind. So instead of the elbow, we're using forearm. Get a nice, uh, the blade of your forearm there and just sweep down. side. When you're working, I actually doing this, it's, uh, you're going to get fatigued if you're uh, bent over all the time, you know, doing this. So I will often just stabilize with one hand as I come down. And then it's also important not to hunch uh, over when you're doing this. You want to maintain your lordaldic curve in your low back. So even though I'm bent over, I'm still trying to maintain long spine as I work. It's all right. I just bumped her in the head. Yeah. So it's, in, I've got contact all the way from here to here. You want to make sure that the contact point is dispersed. It'll make it less intense for your person on the table. And coming all the way down right to the top of the sacrum and then sweeping back up. there we can get into the sides of the body. I've worked, done a couple of videos with Joy before and I know she's a little ticklish. So if this is too ticklish, just let me know and we don't have to do this technique. But this feels really good. I've shown this before. What's important with this is that you keep your knees pressed into the table because otherwise you're going to do this and that's going to put a lot of strain on you. So maintaining the low back hips in, or thighs onto the table, and then just getting this lat, Terry's. And same thing on the other side. So take the hips and do a little mobilization with a big part of your hand there. You lock into the top of the hip. This hand locks into the top of the hip. And then you just kind of make them do the cha-cha.
you want to get the rotator cuff muscles. I like to do it with just a fist, light fist. Finally, from there, we can get up into the upper trapezius, the back of the neck here. So I'm going to pull up a chair. And come in. So there's a couple things you can do here. You can just do alternating fists. Found a little kind of cord like feeling right there, so I'm going to just come and try to get right up on top of it instead of rolling over. If you, it's kind of hard to explain this, what I'm feeling in my hands, but oftentimes you'll find like a place that feels like a cord basically. It's the muscle that's bunched up and um, is in contracture and it doesn't feel good to like if you find a cord to just go over it and over it and over it you know it's kind of irritating so what you want to be doing is moving on to it slowly enough that if you were to go any further you'd go boop and onto the other side and move into it slowly so you can just stop right there and then maintain some flat pressure so let me find that cord again it's right there so if I go too far that way I fall off if I go that too far that way I fall off but if I move into it slowly there I'm directly on it and then you can just hang out for 30 seconds there we go I could if I wanted to make it even more dynamic since this is the upper trap, I can get her to gently push your shoulder up into my hand, contracting the muscle, and relax. And then there's a relaxation response by the muscle after it's been activated. And same thing on the other side. And this side doesn't have that same feel. Oh, there's a little cord right there. Yeah, you feel that? So I go, when you find it, it, it takes a while to develop the skill, but you have to move on to it slowly, start to go over the cord, and then stop when you're about to plop off of it. always nice to have your occiput released. Well, all right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, leave any questions or comments that you have down below. See you next time.